How to set up preferences on your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you how we can set up the preferences section on our Shopify store. Now, this is going to be fairly important if you're just getting started. I highly recommend that you fill this in and you start adjusting it as soon as possible because that because it's actually going to help you get found easier and also more stuff as well. So let's just go ahead and get started and not waste more time so first you will need to access the preferences section and to do so you'll basically just need to go to the settings tab on the bottom left on your shopify store and i was mistaken with that for some reason i said settings it's not actually in settings uh you actually need to go to online store my bad and once you click on online store you will need to go to the bottom here and you will find the preferences section so just go ahead and click on that and then we can just go ahead and get started so the first thing is going to be the title and meta description now this is going to be very very important because this is going to be the description and title that is going to be found on search engines such as google so you will need to make sure that it is um keyword filled and yet you know is super seo friendly and you want to make sure you do your research before you type this in just to make sure that you do get the best um, title and description that you can actually get so i'm just going to name it test uh shopify store because you know, you know it's just a test but obviously make sure you put in a proper title for the home page and also a proper description that is going to describe what this um, store is about. But, you know, make sure you add as many keywords as possible without making it too cramped up with just keywords. So you need to learn how to um, balance it a little bit. So once, you know, you add the description and title, we can just go ahead and move on here. So this is going to be the social sharing image. This is going to be the image that is going to be shown when you share, uh, you know, links to your uh, store on social media. It's just going to show an image that you post in here if they don't find another relevant image from that post. So this is this is going to show up quite frequently. So make sure you set it up accordingly, uh, and make sure you follow uh, the size guide here. You can just go to Canva create a custom size and you can just you know create an image for your store and then we have the google analytics and Fe facebook pixel here uh, which you can set up uh, by clicking on set up google here for example and let's just go ahead and click on save first uh, click on set up google and it's just going to allow you to install the google app where you will be able to set it up properly you will need to just follow the instructions i'm not going to go uh, deeper into this uh, neither with Facebook because this is going to be uh, personal for you and how to actually install it. So next up, we have the password protection. This is going to be um, basically when you want to have your store uh, on break, if you want to go on vacation and you don't really want your store to be running for the time being, you can just go ahead and allow the restrict access to visitors with the password. And once you do this, you can just go ahead and set up a password. So let's just go ahead and change this. So I'll change this uh, and once you set up a password in a message so see you soon uh, then if you just click on save and try to open up your uh, shopify store or anybody tries to open up your shopify store they will be greeted with this opening soon page with the message and they will need to enter the password from the top right in order to access it so it's going to be vacation mode, basically. Uh, or you can just go in and turn it off. And then it's just going to work. And then we also have the spam protection, which I highly recommend that you can just keep them both on. And once this is done, you can just go in and click on save at the bottom here, bottom right. And you are pretty much set to uh, continue on with your journey with Shopify. So this is pretty much all there is to it for this video. Hopefully you found it to be informative. And thanks for watching.